G'day, I'm Scotty Tucker. In this video, I wanna just have a quick run through the benefits of a pond UV system. So you can see behind me, this is a, a, a pond that's, that's green like pea soup. Now this is a little bit extreme in terms of we've got so many fish in here because it's setting up to run an aquaponic system. You can see that standing behind me. So we're pumping water out into the, uh, into the plants to grow uh, vegetables and herbs from the fish waste. We've also got some biological filters at the back as well, two of the Metala Biosteps 10 filters. So the pond's set up really well for the aquaponic system that it's gonna be running. But as is very, very common in a new pond, regardless of how many fish you've got in there, uh, what you experience is, is uh, green water like this. And that's because the pond's new, it's settling in, it hasn't found its, its rhythm or its system. Uh, what you can do with a UV, it will very, very quickly, when you turn it on, it will, um, as the water passes through, the UV light contacts the algal cell that's in the water and it basically just bursts it from the inside. So it's literally a case of green water goes in, clear water comes out. So we're gonna expect this to, to do it really, really quickly. And the purpose of this video is to, to just show you how quickly it can do it. So on the one behind me, we've, we've got the Metala Easy Clear 16 Watt UV, which is more than ample for, for a pond of this size. Another important thing with pond UVs is the bulbs have an operating life. And the Metala one that we're gonna be using behind to be here, uh, it uses a Philips bulb. Philips bulbs are recognized in the industry as being the best bulbs that you can use. And they have an operating life of about 9,000 hours, which works out, give or take, roughly a year. You wanna have it running 24 seven, it's on while your pump's on, your pump's running 24 seven to drive your filter. So what that means is that once a year you wanna change your UV. And you actually need to change it because what will happen with a good UV, you can actually see uh, an indicator lamp will show you that the bulb is working. But after that period of, of the operating hours, what will happen is that it will still shine that bluey color, but there's no actual UV effectiveness coming through. So all you've got is a blue light, not a UV light. So a good idea to change your bulbs. If you buy a really cheap bulb or a cheap UV, chances are it's got a, a lower grade UV and you can effectively say that that's going to have about a half or maybe even a third the operating life. So you might need to change those two or three times a year. So with most, like with most things, you're better off to pay for the, the quality unit that will last you the longer period of time because the cheaper ones you've got to replace more often end up being more expensive in the long run anyway. So uh, if you've got a UV in there and you're wondering why your water's turned back to green again, you need to change the bulb over. It's a simple fix. Now, when it comes to UV, when we've got fish in the system and we're trying to set up a biological filter, the bacteria that lives inside the biological filter, UV also kills bacteria. So, and it doesn't distinguish between good and bad bacteria. So while it's good for controlling disease in fish ponds, uh, it's not good when you're building up a, 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 a stock of bacteria in your filter. So when you're setting up a new pond and uh, you wanna run a UV, you can set it all up, plumb it all up, but don't actually turn it on for about a month. Give the filter a chance to, to colonize the bacteria. Uh, then you know that you've got a good amount of, uh, of bacteria in that filter, then you can turn the UV on. And then it doesn't really matter that the good or bad bacteria um, um, is getting wiped out before it goes into the filter because the filter's already already colonised. It's um, that's that's when you'd use a UV where you want crystal clear water. Now UV won't do anything against algae that builds up on the side walls or the stringy stuff that you can pick up. It's only good for stopping what's behind me, which is planktonic or single cell uh, microscopic algae. When it's in its billions and it turns water green like this, that's when you nail it with a UV and you'll get a great result. So let's turn this sucker on and see how long it takes to clear up. Okay, so it took about a week, uh, which is probably longer than what, what I would have expected, but uh, in fairness, there's a hell of a lot of fish in here and there was a lot of algae in there. So if you're using a UV at home, you'd probably expect it to clean up in less than a week because it would surprise me if, uh, if many of you have the, the same conditions as what I've had here. Now you can see the fish are, are very, very easily identifiable. You can see that there's lots of them. I can see the, the zeolite that dropped off one of the pots that I planted that I pulled out. Uh, when the algae started to, uh, to come along because otherwise the plant probably would have died due to lack of photosynthesis. So you can easily see the stuff on the bottom, you can see the pump. You can also see in these uh, flow form water features uh, that the algae is now starting to grow on the inside of them and that's a very, very common occurrence is that 
uh, unless you start controlling the nutrient load in your pond through adequate filtration, uh, what can happen is that you get rid of one type of algae and another one comes along. So UV light won't do anything against string algae or algae that grows on surfaces, uh, but it will keep your water absolutely crystal clear. To deal with the, the stuff that grows on surfaces, you need to make sure that you've got adequate filtration. And this filtration system behind me is still maturing, so it's not surprising that we're going through cycles of algae. And now I can get the aquaponics system set up finally, properly, so I can uh, use that as another method of, uh, of utilising the nutrients, which ultimately is what this pond is actually for. It's for the aquaponics. So UV light, great way of keeping your, your water clear, really good in new ponds. And then also if you do have issues with, uh, with green water at any stage of your pond's life, a UV is going to nail it very quickly in a non-chemical way.